This video explains how to toggle a bit with just one input switch in a Mitsubishi Melsoft PLC. Hello, welcome back. This is Gerd Zeller from Zeller Press Control and off we go. I'm gonna make a new function block because I think that I will have to use this uh, many times and I will call this FB toggle. Once the function block is created it opens automatically a window for the editing from the program and also you can edit the labels. And in FB we will always need some local labels and I will just create them right now. Um, one input bit that is called just a signal and that's a bit and that's gonna be a input variable and the same goes for the output a Q bit out which is also a bit and that is an output right here and then we need one more variable that is uh, local bit and we just call this latch all right and it's also a bit um, let's see here we go all right this is for the local variables and now we will create the program first of all we need a positive edge which you can also put in um, from from this menu up here and we will call it i i b oops i b signal okay oh, misspelled it i b signal there it goes and we will set the Q B out with that. The next step is that we make a connection here and then we also make another positive edge or rising edge also with the input bit signal and we will reset reset the QB out also connect this and with the QB out Q so QB out we'll switch on we will switch on the local bit latch misspell it again lb and then double click the latch right here okay um, in order to set and reset this and toggle it we have to put this latch bit in here as a normally closed and it should be in here as a normally open and if we don't mark anything right here it will automatically create a normally open so that's already it for the function block and um, the function block needs to be called in a program block which is in the scan main I'm just gonna use the P the program POE POU sorry and just make a new network here insert row and then I should just be able to drag this over here and it gives it automatically a name you can call this any name you want to I'm just gonna leave it to the factory setting right now and then um, we just need one bit to start it if 
just use the M200 and one bit where you can see the actual output status which is the M201 and we put this down here in the watch the M200 and if everything's right we will rebuild everything okay after the rebuild is done i am just gonna start the simulation mode and then we should be able to toggle this on and off with the m200 so right now it's false i'm just gonna put the m201 in there too if i make it high now the m201 switch is on if I switch the M200 off, nothing's gonna happen. And if I switch it on again, the M201 will go off, will go false. So now we take a look inside the function block, which is still open in here. And we can see um, if we just switch the output off right now, we toggle it once. So the output is off. And then you will see the uh, latch is uh, normally closed, which is uh, closed right here. So if the signal turns on once, we just make it with a one shot. So that means just with one scan of the program, it will go through this rung and through the latch and sets the output, which we're going to try right now. There we go you could see it was on for a real short time the output is set right now you can see this on the m1 on the m201 the latch is set and in this case um, it changed the status on the set rung and also on the reset rung so if we now make another another signal change from one from zero to one it will go through here and reset the output and this is how it's gonna get toggled there we go now it's off see the m201 is off and if we repeat this make it zero make it one it will toggle on all right so this is how easy it is to make a toggle bit and just for one idea um, i made a video about the uh, right bit in the mitsubishi user web page and this right bit is not be able to being reset in this window right here so if we just go ahead and input another row And just reset this M200 with its own address. M200 reset M200. I think. Oh, sorry. Reset M200. There we go. Reset M200. That's the way it should be. And here, I normally close with the m200 okay that's it so if we try this and i didn't switch off the simulator so i might i just make an online change this is also working in the simulator mode so in in this case the m200 gets reset by itself and if you switch on the monitoring mode again we will see that once we switch it on it switches it automatically it switches itself off through this rung here and the m201 goes through and if i toggle it on again the m201 goes off and this is how you can actually use it as a push button in this uh, mitsubishi user web page application so thank you for watching on the uh, toggle bit switched on and off only with one input in a Mitsubishi Melsoft GX Works 3.